man. Now that's a mouthful. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> so delicious. Wow. Okay, that was good. As well use the rest of the uh, lobster we'll keep those tails in as well for a bit more flavor we'll literally get a bit of water and um, just start boiling away Nice if I, oh, would been good if I bought a tomato, but we didn't, so we'll make do. Just need to bring that to the boil and then, uh, yeah, just leave it for a while and let all that water just soak through all the cray and get all the good flavors out. I wish I had a lid or something for this, but I don't. Try and get all the legs in as we go along. Oh, he's still twitching away, geez. <laughs> and we'll get a delicious soup out of this and we'll try and crack some of open and get some of the meat out as well. Flip these guys back. Oh, look at those. They don't look half bad, do they? Now that they've oranged up. And we'll just let that simmer for quite a bit longer. Oh, it's a bit steamy. Yeah, you can see all the innards of the uh, lobster as well. They go to contributing to the flavour, but not just the flavour, but even the thickness of the soup. So we'll just keep that going just a little longer. So she's been boiling away for a little while now, maybe 20 minutes or so. So we'll um, we'll dip the spoon in and just get a little taste. I've put maybe the only other thing I've added uh, off camera is maybe half a teaspoon of sugar. Mmm, very, uh, very lobstery. Like you can really get all the shell and the lobster flavors through, and really quite spicy actually. I think I only put two or three chilies in, but uh, they must be quite hot because that's really peppery and really hot. Unfortunately, I only bought one lime, but should actually be enough because we're only making a small amount of soup. And apart from that, we're ready to go. Just make sure it mixes through. We'll have a little taste, see if we need to add any more salt or sugar, but I probably don't think we will. Oh man, this is amazingly good. <laughs> Let's just sit down where we were before. Okay, we definitely can't put that on our legs though, can we? Might just have to hold it, but just pop it down there for a sec. Okay, see if we can uh, move these to the sides, get all this goodness. A bit more. <laughs> right, there we go. 
I can't explain how good this one is because it's really because it's such a, such a throw together. We didn't have all the ingredients we wanted. Too many people talking behind me. I think it's those yachts. Oh, there's some people in a tender. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go away. If you like uh, Tom Yum soups uh, and just like that spicy sweet then you know you'll love this it's worth a go and I think if you added the rest of the ingredients like there was lemongrass that I'd normally put in and um, yeah like that's about really it like you could add a little bit of coconut milk if you wanted like a creamy one um, there's a few things you could do but all in all um, probably galang instead of ginger but uh, yeah like beggars can't be choosers in this situation and for a throw together it's pretty darn good you've got that nice peppery um, flavor nice and spicy but then also that really like uh, that sour from the lime and it just the contrast is really delicious all mixed in with that delicious kind of stock made from the lobster and the shells and all the guts and ins all, all the innards it's uh, turned out to be a pretty spectacular kind of soup oh look at that jackpot let's throw that in there and we'll eat that with the soup we'll just strip this down a bit oh yes put that in there look at that one still only halfway through the legs now we're really ready to eat look at all the leg meat so much meat in the legs oh now there's a perfect mouthful right there mm. this is amazing Okay, well, might as well, might as well go for a fish, I think. Tide's pretty far down, but we'll grab this little baggie here and we'll, we might grab a hat actually as well. Alright, hat on. With this hat on, I can't fail. It's my lucky visor. Alright, we might change this squid jig over because... Well, I do want to catch a squid, actually. Maybe we should do that, but it is fun to flick these lures around. Hmm. Have a think here. Oh, I've got another squid jig here. And we've got a few random things. I think I left the other lure. It was hanging up in the tent, so I'll grab that. Why don't we just bring it all? Squid would be good. And actually, let's bring this full of water and there's my lure it's just pinned it to the tent maybe we pop that in there as well and then we'll just cruise around the island go for a little explore and hopefully catch well squid would be good uh, but I've only just finished the morning's breakfast I'm not starving to death that's for sure Whoop. Uh oh it's all right we're leaving tomorrow and we've got water coming out of our ears on this trip and lots of things because we're not really going through much it's amazing the difference when it's hot and when it's cool the amount of water you go through like you sort of think it's minimal but the difference is huge okay i guess we'll head that way oh hey this island we've done this before and there is a point where we can't get any further around uh and it's almost all the way on the other side it's quite a it's not a very uh there's only a small landing and camping area on this island but it is not that small an island actually like um you know it's maybe two k's across but it's quite round so it's almost a full 2k diameter almost so um there is a bit of ground to cover if you get it wrong and you have to walk all the way back which is what we had to do last time so <laughs> let's not do that so we'll go down to this point We'll have a muck around, then we'll maybe change around and go back the other point. But there's a few fun things. I wouldn't mind going to see if those dolphin bones are still there and just having a cruise around. So I think this is this is the way. Hey, run, skink, run. We'll start with a few casts here. A couple of test casts because we know we've caught the squid here. Ooh, change arms, Rod. See if we can get a cheeky squid during the day. You do get them during the day. I've definitely caught plenty of squid during the day, so. It's always funny. I very rarely see squid uh, in the water. I've seen them a handful of times. 
but then you cast in and you you know you get one straight away so they must be just pretty stealthy they've got pretty darn good camouflage so i can understand why you wouldn't spot them but even still i'm surprised i don't see more Something came in and grabbed it. Oh, it was a little cod or something. <laughs> yeah. You are not the squid we're looking for. Hey, this is the spot I remember. Took a little while. I kept thinking it was the next corner. It's actually maybe four or five corners around. Because just about beyond the, where the light grey part of that rock is, maybe that's two corners around from where the boat is in camp. But this is the spot I remember having the bones and just where these waves are breaking here I've noticed that there's definitely like a lot more life the coral gets better from here on out and it would have been oh, I was back before the bird back a bit further where I got the craze but you could see there was the light the water cleared up and it started to get a little more lively compared to where I started on, on off the beach Let's go and check out if our bones are still here and then we'll head on over for a fish. I think it might have been the next one around where they were. It's cool these little alcoves with pandanus that come down. Oh, coconut. Feels heavy enough, but it's pretty waterlogged. Uh, and you can see there's always in these little alcoves is where like plastic and all that other rubbish gets washed up as well. <laughs> Used to always be thongs, but now it's crocs. <laughs> there's always at least a couple of crocs or thongs washed up. Look at that. Gross. Uh, what is this? That looks like an EPIRB to me. What is it? Or is it just a floating light? Yeah, right. Life Boy light. Well, hopefully they got some good use of that before they drowned. <laughs> hopefully it worked for them. Maybe it just came out of the boat. Ah, oh, and there's the bones, yeah. Some of them anyway. Oh. Still here. So we looked up, not so much this part. This part just we were like, oh yeah, well it's hard to tell. But these parts, oh look at, oh whoops. Oh well, snapping apart pretty cleanly, isn't it? Little vertebrae. But at this part was the giveaway. Oh, it just broke off as well. But these wing parts that sort of come out that way, and I looked up a dolphin skeleton at home and it looks exactly like this. So uh, yeah, dolphin. Pretty shame the dolphin had to go, but we all go at some point, I guess. Cool to see the bones. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's always interesting to see what's washing up. Maybe we'll head down and go for a fish. I think, uh, yeah, we'll see where a good drop off is. Hopefully, we can find a nice little ledge. We'll cast the squid jig a few times and then we'll switch to a lure. See if we can get a nice trout or something. You know what, I'm going to switch to this uh, little lure here because I reckon seems to be a lot of mo water moving around here and it might get a bit um, hard for me to get a squid, it just seems like there's a lot of water movement and uh, I think it's more of a cod kind of area so we'll give it a crack. I don't think I'm going to get many casts in because it looks like a bit hard to get down into a good spot with all these oysters. but. Uh, We'll give it a red hot try. Good old uni knot for the win. I think this is like 20 pound. So if a big quad gets it, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> but we've got a chance, we've got a chance. Just gotta watch those oysters. Oi. Okay. We sort of made it. Oh, 
Okay. Good. Oh, oh, we got something. It's right on the paws, he got it. Oh, we got to pull him around this way. Oh, what did we get here? It's a tusk fish, isn't it? All right, buddy, you coming up? Oh, look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at that fish. That's not a bad tusky. He'd be legal, but uh, I'm not going to keep him. But uh, we'll get him off the uh, hooks. Sorry, mate. I'll get the pies out. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Yeah, mate. Should we get you up? Well, I'll let him go over here. That's a beautiful looking little fish. Tusk fish. Oh, there you go. Splat. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, yeah, right. Mate, we're getting a mixed bag. We're certainly catching fish. It's good fun on these little lures, but um, the problem is you do get a lot of little fish, I guess. Wish we really need to get a, probably a bigger lure to cancel out all these little guys, but there's no reason why you can't catch a big fish on that size lure, so we'll keep at it. Oh, we're tangled. So what have we got this one? Oh geez, look at that. It's all chafed. Even after one fish, we might need to change that quickly. And then we'll have another go. Come on, big coral trout. <laughs> I was just testing, mate. I didn't want a fish. Geez, these cod are keen. They're always in the shallows. All right, lift you up. Oh. He's actually getting pretty big. He'd almost be the 38 that you need. <laughs> Not quite, but you'd be getting closer. Flyers again. Okay. We'll put you in on the same spot. See you, buddy. Getting to the bigger size. Still not legal. Pretty rare to get them legal. I think I said that yesterday. Possible, but rare. We won't pause it there because <laughs> we know that's the uh, that's prime cod zone. It's pretty average cast, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe we go further around that way where it drops off deeper on that side of the island. It's the island that cops the brunt of the surf, so you get a bigger drop off. In fact. Let's go do it now, because I've got a feeling if we stay here, it's just going to be more cod. <laughs> Little cod. Ugh. Okay, let's not cut our feet. Okay, we'll go a bit further around to some deeper water. Ooh. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to get down, but I guess I could just go to here. Have a cast through this trench here. You never know. If I do get something, it'll be scary times.
Oh, oh, we did get something. Oh, it's a good ass stripey. It's not a bad size either. Oh, look, and the cod's coming out to, to chase him, try and steal it. All right, mate. Gee, he's not a bad size. You, I think, might. Oh. Oh. He could be dinner, I think. I think whoa, he's going to get berserk. All right, mate. Oh, mate. Big fried fish for dinner. Ooh, he's doing a big poo. <laughs> okay. I think you may be coming with me, mate. What a fish. Not bad, not bad at all. Look, he's like a full, like he's quite big. These guys, you're allowed to take. Oh, okay, okay. Did you just break my lure? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just your scales, I'm sorry. All right, well, we'll quickly put this guy out of his misery and I think he might become dinner tonight. But he is a beautiful fish. Wow, that's a good one. Good for that, that kind of fish. They like, they sort of taste a little bit like your mangrove jacks and your other snappers and your mangrove snapper in the US. So quite a delicious fish actually. And not like, not so highly prized here because this is about as big as they get. They get a bit bigger. So, but um, you know, oh, uh oh, he's gonna escape. Oh, look. Okay, mate. Okay, I'm quickly dispatch him and then uh, wash the poo off him. <laughs> okay, just give him a quick rinse off. Hard to reach that water. Whoa! But so just to dispatch him fast, fish about this size quite easy. Just snap under the gills and then just tilt the head back as far until the uh, until it snaps uh, his uh, head from his uh, spine, and it puts him out of the misery very quickly. That is a delicious fish, and uh, yeah, look, he's bleeding out because it snaps the artery there. They bleed out as well at the same time, so it's a good way to do it. Fast and. Good for the flesh. But, look, after I did that fried fish, I think I might have to fry this guy the same way I did uh, the last one because it came out so nice. Big, crispy, flaky flesh. I think uh, just that and a salad will be the way to go. What a great fish. Oh, I'm pumped because I know how good these are. Okay, we made it. Tide's coming in as well, it's starting to look pretty nice. Let's get back to camp. I've been thinking about what to do with this fish. And uh, I did the last one of these stripies, or this stripe snapper. Uh, I think I did it whole because it was smaller. But I think I might fillet this one because we've got a little bit of a, a little bit more size. So the fillets that come off will be a little nicer. And that way I can fry it in the wok a little easier as well. Or the pan, sorry. Fry it in the pan. I'm gonna put that there. And we might just go straight down and fill it this guy straight up. Then we can put him in the esky. Not that the esky has any cold stuff in it. But we'll at least keep him out of trouble. Keep any bugs off. Filleting knife. And maybe a dish. To put it in, I think the pan's in there. Maybe we we'll just chuck it in the pan for now. Yep. Now we do this. Oh, how's about here? That looks ideal, doesn't it? Not quite 100% flat, but it will do. Okay. <laughs> Ew. I'm going to give him another rinse, just flatten him out a bit. <laughs> Guess we should scale first, shouldn't we, really? Because these scales may be just a little bit bigger than I want to eat. Should have brought a fork or something. Not a bad, <laughs> straight in the mouth. Not a bad sized fish actually, for the species. Right in. Jeez, this knife. It's a pleasure to use. Thank you, Will. Look at that. I don't even have to press it and it just, just comes off. Just glides through.
Alright, there's one nice fillet. Pop them down. Pretty much skimming the bone there, so not too bad in the rib cage. And we'll smash this side out and we'll be good to go. There we go. Not too bad. Well, we've got our fillets, we've got our clean chopping board and knife. Let's head up and uh, got a bit of time before dinner, I think. We've got to rinse this knife, too special to ruin too quick. <laughs> Let's head up and uh, chill and slowly think about what we're going to do for dinner. Look at that. The wind has dropped. Well, I don't think it's dropped. I think what's happened is it's switched around to come from the north. So um, it's really protected on this side all of a sudden. And it's just starting to flatten out. And it's getting this beautiful like haze of blue all through. And the water looks nice and clear. So it's pretty special. But it's a good time to start the meal. Because before it gets too dark and give us enough time to just chill and enjoy the uh the evening so we'll get everything out i've just uh got everything up here still i've just been letting these fillets sit on the pan and dry up because we want them nice and dry so they um crisp up get this out of the way i might just drag the whole whiskey out again The fillets don't fall off, and they're looking good. Right here. And just look straight out over this. Ooh, it's feeling pretty light. <laughs> Hopefully we've got enough gas. Didn't bring a spare this time. We'll find out. Should be fine. What do we need here? What do we need? Just going to make a little cucumber salad, I think. Yeah, probably could maybe get one chili. Oh, I think I put the chilies in here. Just for the salad more than the fish. Literally just going to crisp this fish up with just salt and pepper. And that's about it, really. So, relatively simple dish. And we'll put the salad in here once we make it. Oh, you know what I've forgotten. Oh, no, I haven't. It's over here. Get our cucumber and our ginger, and we'll just do one chili as well, just mix it in there. So we're done. Whoa, I can feel that wind switching around now. It's starting to come from that direction, so I'm glad I'm starting to cook now. Hopefully, because it's been there's been a big rainstorm just further down there. Hopefully nothing swings around and starts coming towards me. It'd be nice if we could keep dry tonight. 
Okay, put these two fillets up here. God, I hope it lasts. I'll be very disappointed. Get this oil hot. Probably could have used coconut oil, but I couldn't be bothered opening the esky again, and this will do just fine. Okay, our oil looks pretty hot. Starting to smoke. Straight in. Woo! Yeah. Grab the chopsticks and flip them over. Hopefully our skin's still there and uh lost a little bit of it, but that's alright. It hasn't gone anywhere, it's just taste nice. Ah, we're ripping off. Probably why you need a plastic for that today. It's alright though, he will manage. So just like give it another maybe 30 seconds on this side and then we'll be ready to get it off. I'd say I'm happy with that. Will we be able to pick this up and get it onto the chopping board without smashing it or ruining it? Okay. Ugh. It's going to have to slide you off. So we're going to tip off the chopping board, but we'll move the chopping board. One last little bit of salt and the salad and the fish. <laughs> Yum. How's this picturesque little section of the island now, huh? It's amazing. Whoa, look at that cloud cover. That's bizarre. Does that mean it's going to storm in a second? <laughs> Have a go at that. Hmm, it's definitely been storming over there. Anyway, let's eat and we won't worry because we can huddle down in the tent then. So my skin is semi-crispy. You can see it's gone a bit, uh, a little bit rubbery there. We'll snap a bit off and we'll still try some. Mmm, it's good though. Yeah, not as crispy as I'd like, a bit oily. But the fish is delicious. Just snap another bit off. Mm. Bit of the salad. Mmm, the ginger's good. Really nice. Um, hopefully, tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up early at first light, maybe just a bit before first light. I'll hit this little spot here where I caught the squid this morning and yesterday afternoon or night just before dark and hopefully we come good with a squid but I'll finish this now and um, yeah I might uh, just enjoy the sunset and hit the hay and we'll see you in the morning probably still in this video unless something happens but uh, yeah we'll see how the editing goes <laughs> hopefully it doesn't storm Storm. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like that heavy cloud's peeling back. I guess we should get out and have a look. Okay. Oh, good morning. Um, yeah. Oh, look at the eagles. All soaring up there. My uh, early morning squid hunt didn't take place. It was pouring rain, like really pouring, like big heavy drops. But uh, 
Yeah, so there was no getting up just before light. It's only just sort of a little bit past light, but that cloud cover sort of stopping the um, sun from getting through. A little bit of wind picking up. It's coming from the south now. It's blowing straight at my face from that side of the island. So we're not really getting any protection, but it's not too uh, windy yet. But you can see the seas changing. You can see it's gone from nice and calm to pretty choppy over the last couple of hours. It's amazing how quickly it can change. But we'll have to play it safe and leave in the morning, I'd say. But um, yeah, should be all right. Like the boat can handle this, no problems. I'm not worried about this at all. But uh, if it continues to get worse, it's just not that enjoyable to get across. Time to say goodbye to the island again. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one today. Uh, would have been nice, it was a little bit nicer, but best to sort of obviously, as always, keep it safe and just uh, cruise off if it looks like it's gonna get a bit dicier. And the weather report doesn't really get any better. It only gets worse from this point on, so. Thought we could sneak in a little bit more time, but it's just smart to go. We can't complain. And we'll just have to come back up again, that's the thing. But uh, yeah, well, let's get this boat into the water. It's going to be a little bit rougher than I want it to be. 